Well, anything new in the world of Hero Quest? <laughs> Part they are. Uh, they are the same photo going around of the uh, jungles. Uh, the jungles of Delthrak. That, that's weird. Uh, Present yeah, that's presented weird, by uh, Adobe every, AI. Every store is using that photo. What a troll it'd be is if that actually was the image. Like they just they licensed it from Adobe and they're like, yep. <laughs> Or they made a painting that was, like, based on it. Because I guess that's been happening in the world of D&D. I haven't followed it super closely, but, like, I guess people were accusing them of using AI-generated art, and then they were like, no, it's not. But then, I guess, it was one of those situations where, you know, you use AI, but then you, like, you know, you, you tweak it a little bit afterwards and then say it's an original creation. It's like, oh, that doesn't count. So, I don't know. I guess it's a big controversy now. I don't know, man. As, you know, I I was suspicious since the beginning of that photo because it's weird. It's not just a temple. You got, like, a, a cropped part yeah, of you, a photo of a miniature. Yeah, you can see, like, uh, CG uh, renders of, like, uh, yeah. gray figures, like, poking into the frame. Yes. As but if they were taking if another photo. If you photo, could see the... Yeah. <laughs> Go if ahead. you go and check the details of this miniature, okay, the slanting part of the uh, of the base is exactly the same or used by the by uh, um, uh, Avalon Hill. Okay, so same angle, same base, same proportion of the base. So it it could be like a, a clue left by that by Avalon Hill in a way, in my opinion. <laughs> Even the style of the miniature really resemble uh, the style of Dunbar, the uh, the artist. It is it's played very well. I think it, it really looked like a, a a clue to me. So you think maybe it was not so much an attempt to fake us out, but some type of Easter egg <laughs> that then yes, the exactly. stores felt free to I just mean, a, a slap on fake... the page. That is not a fake, okay? <laughs> I see it in that way. A fake made by uh, Avalon Hill to fool us, okay? But there's some hint there. Because what is, even the AI, why the AI would put uh, parts of miniature like this? Of the that one is a real render, so it's not AI generator. It's a real render of a miniature. Yeah, it looks like they well took... cropped two pictures and put them together but one of those pictures is objectively an ai generated adobe photo of a jungle so they would have had to yeah, take that, that, was, that what then, we uh we search they... okay we find there's yeah. uh, somebody in the group that find the, the source of the uh mm -hmm. of the photo that is a, a stock image okay for yeah. sure that one okay <laughs> yeah. but the uh, the miniature is the part they uh it's weird really they, they give us like a left arm and a uh, right leg See, now that you're mentioning, it, I'm if you put to them like, together, pull it up and look at it. They again. look from the same miniature. They even like delete the weapon that is holding this miniature. Look like almost in purpose. Mm -hmm. You can see just a, a little part in the top corner of the uh, of the box. All right, you've uh, you've convinced me to take a look back at it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the, there, my, uh, oh but that's not a my investigation goes uh, on the uh, artwork of uh, Dunbar I uh, even posted uh, not, in, not long time uh, long, long time ago a photo of uh, a dwarf um, ranger draw by him long ago is part of his portfolio so probably even took inspiration from this photo yeah, I mean, it's a cool-looking picture, but yeah, it's clearly Adobe stock. And yeah, that one is, the, the, the picture is being used for the uh, for the background. But if you go and check the uh, render of um, what was Pixie Games, you can see in the corners part of the miniature. Now I'm trying to find that image. Did somebody save it, I wonder? I, I saved one very low resolution. If you want, I, I can send it to you. Sure. 
I mean, I don't know if it'd be on archive. I, I felt like I was giving Virg a hard time about this. I didn't mean to, but <laughs> I mean, I was just thinking, okay, the fact that they used an image that was questionable. Oh, well, I guess this is more or less what we're talking about. Yeah, I was thinking, like, because of the, the, the image being a stock image, people have questioned the entire thing. They're saying, like, all this stuff could be fake. Maybe maybe the very existence of a Jungles of Delthrak expansion is is not real. And I was like, no, no, that can't be it. Like, it's a real expansion. That's the real title. That's approximately when it's coming out. It's just the image is fake. But why use a fake image? Well, and I was saying, in a certain way, they've been using fake images all along. Because we've gotten boxes that are clearly 3D rendered. Hey, they recreate... Uh, item. They recreate... Uh... Ogre Horde, I guess the Ogre Horde, they recreated yeah. with the images they had. So. But but even, even Hasbro themselves use CG renders, and we've seen errors before. Like, they remember they had the price wrong and the, the rapier that was like 400 gold coins, and they had the, the, um, they put the artwork of the um, Wanda Magic on the, the, the Warlock wand, yes, and the colors were wrong. And the, yeah. Those I was going to say, the, uh, the monks that came out had two different cards, even though the male and the females are technically the same. One had an asterisk, the other one didn't. Yeah, we just assumed that that was a, an error, and they left it in. <laughs> right, but like I said, you, they could have had one render up, and then somebody caught it, and then they never changed the other one. Yeah, you know, like, I don't know how it happens, but yeah, it is, like yeah. said, but or one, it can be one thing where, like I said, it just slips by. Or one card is meant to explain the other. Well, yeah, they've made mistakes in the past. Like, with the spell scrolls not saying, you know, can be used by any hero, crumbles to dust after use. Or, yeah, the that whole thing about metal armor and then not explaining what metal armor even is. And then giving us a helmet card that now says it's made of metal. <laughs> and then the monk couldn't use metal stuff, but then they took away the word metal from the website. And because the cards never mentioned it. Yeah, so the website, like I said, so the website and, you know, the computer generation versus what you actually get can all be varied just if it differs in any of those stages or if it gets broken in any of those stages where it's corrected somewhere, but the whole rest of it's not fixed or found. I mean, it would be extremely bizarre if this was what the box actually looked like. <laughs> so we've got a oh, yeah, really? with portions of gray miniatures like intruding on the picture i'm almost thinking they had like a couple of photos that they that were available and they just kind of like made a collage with them i don't know why this particular way yeah it just is very bizarre but why the collage it doesn't show the miniature just show an yeah, arm to suggest um, a leg there. um i i think of course it's not going to be the uh, the um the cover okay but I, I really think he could be a, um, a clue. You know, they like to do plain, uh, yeah. hidden in plain sight clues. Sure. So this one could be one of them. Yeah. And I, I think it could have been a larger image where they put all these little 3D renders and they say, we want you, you know, like an artist proof where we want you to, you know, put all this together and make it look good in one thing. Here's the little bits what? of what we got, but it still seems weird. <laughs> if you could see, uh, like, a side-by-side -side of the rear of the box of, uh, uh, let's say, any any box of uh, Havana Hill, you can see the, the base, okay, the, the angle, and the base is exactly the same proportion of uh, a render from uh, Avalon Hill. It's a 3D object that they wrap a texture around, and maybe it has, yeah, the same borders, the same font. It's yeah. like, add your box design here template. Yes, but it's professionally cropped. Okay, it's not. You can you can see that you cannot see any uh, any border. I don't know how to explain it in English. I, I think is they, they are. The, main, the miniature part is being done professionally. It doesn't, doesn't look like it just uh, a... 
face there. Oh, yeah, but at the same time, like, if, if I were going to come to you and say, no, 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 um, they could have taken any image of, like, any 3D fantasy model from, like, they could go to Kickstarter and just, like, grab any, any like, yeah. character, put a piece but... of it here, put a piece of it there. Why? I don't know. Why would they put extraneous stuff in the picture, like you say, unless they're trying to clue us in on something? That's assuming that Avalon Hill did this or instructed them to do this versus somebody just really screwed up and had a really bad day and didn't care enough to... Yeah, it's like they, they put it there purposely, but why? Don't know. Yes. The gray arm. But if you do a side-by-side -side with the image, I just send you in the group. Oh, thank you. You can I'm hoping they're why. showing us that because it's going to have like different weapons you can stick in the arm. <laughs> Oh, like uh, I don't know, I, I, Dark World, like the old mercenaries, but it'll be like this. These will be like the the dwarf mercenaries, and you can put a different, you know, this guy's got the axe, this guy's got a sword, this, you know, I don't know. It could be. This guy gets a warhammer. <laughs> and let it be known, this this image is is very but old. It's been it's, around. It's so a long weird time. that they could really call. We're talking about it again. Yeah. It's... It's really weird. They uh, do you see the top? They go in the in the top right corner of the box. You see that there's like a, a piece. It has been cropped, but it, it's like a, resemble a, a weapon of some kind, like a machete. Okay, the, the, you can see the blade, gray. There you can. Mm. I, I don't know if I, I'm explaining myself. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's... Yeah, it's like, no, exactly. it, it looks it, like it, the tip of a blade or something at the very top yeah. edge. To me, it, it just doesn't look like anything. But I mean, I guess you could yeah, imagine... That, that one, uh, exactly in the corner, it looked like a uh, raised arm. Okay. If, you, if you assume... But I'm that talking about whole... the one in the top in the top edge, in if the you, uh, in the border. If, uh, if you move the cursor up... Yeah, above the E and S in Quest. Exactly. There's like a... But it's but over top they, of the yellow border, and then the, yeah. the arm is over top of the yellow border, but then the rest of mm -hmm. whatever that is is tucked behind the border. Or, or is caught, or is like part of a, a weapon coming from uh, the, uh, the other direction, so it could be like, um, I don't know, an axe, wherever. Well, I, I see what you guys are but saying. If you imagine this figure is just overlaid, so we mm -hmm. see a foot... We see a base, we see like some pants or like, so the waistline is like right here lined up with the word Questes. <laughs> I can't speak French. Um, and then, yeah, he's taller or maybe holding an, his arm up, whatever that is, that gray thing. Yes. And then what, it's like a sickle that comes down or, or maybe it's. Maybe or, or a pickaxe. It, yeah. It's hard to tell. I mean, is the, is the border yeah. cutting it off? Is it overlapping? Who knows? And is this? But it just seems weird picture? that the one image is behind the yellow border, but then the other two pieces, that one and then the one all the way on the left, are on top of the yellow border. You know what? I, I had another crazy thought. Again, this is 100% speculation. So, old, old old man Kurgan's probably wrong about it. But what if they gave them the actual box cover? And then, but then they found out, no, you can't use that image. So they had to like use Photoshop or something to like cut out the image, the actual image. And then they just put the stock image in front of it. And maybe the original picture was bigger. Like it had the box cover and it had some yeah, pictures they, like in they front of the box. Them, they send them or they found like uh, some miniature. And since they don't have the right to... They clumsily <laughs> they edited it. <laughs> the, uh, the image of the miniature, they create uh, the, exactly the, uh, with, um, with AI the box. I, the other thing I is that the I, miniatures I, I, are usually on the back of the, the box. Miniature. Yeah. Miniatures are on the back, usually. Well, guys, think about, think about the Guardian Knight situation. Right before they revealed it, they put um, a picture of silhouettes of the two Guardian Knights. They were so blacked out that you couldn't see what they were. But you just had the basic shape. And they put that on Twitter, I guess. And then when they did Rise of the Dreadmoon, they showed those boxes, but they were like incredibly blurred. 
So people were using AI to like sharpen them up. And then you had the, uh, was it PulseCon? Where they had those sprues in the background that were so dark you really couldn't see them very well. And so people were brightening them up to see what they were. So they're not above doing that sort of thing. My only quibble with this whole theory, and I, and I mean, I'd love to believe it. <laughs> My quibble with the whole theory is, is similar to when Rise of the Dread Moon was coming out. And they showed a picture of Sir Ragnar on the cover. We were all like, you know, including myself, why would they try to fake us out on the on the cover? He's He's got to be inside the box. Like, this has got to be the final design. This is real. They wouldn't create a box just to fool us for a couple months, and then people are going to be buying the product for years on end with a misleading box. Then it turns out <laughs> they did the artwork for Sir Ragnar, but they didn't design a new miniature for him. And then I guess that goes back to the fact that the artwork is for your imagination. It's not necessarily saying there's physical objects in the game that are like this. So I don't know what to make of this now. <laughs> I mean, the gray images, if, if they have any connection to this at all, yeah, they're probably CG renders of miniatures that are in the box, just like they've done CG renders for all the other ones too. I mean, they try to make them more realistic with like the last few iterations, but I mean, these look pretty, yeah, pretty obviously. Yes, easy. but also the choice of the color. If he's the hero, they didn't put a red miniature. They yeah. just put a gray CGI, right? Like the most generic color. The big... Yeah. That's why Otherwise I said it seems like it would be something that they would send uh, to an artist. Like, here we want a temple that looks like this. These are the miniatures that come in the box, but you know, make them look yeah. like a person. You know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? It just as a thing to reference something off of. If if I commissioned somebody and they gave me this, I'd I'd fire them. But because it doesn't really show you anything. Well, I, that I would, I would think that they would have the whole models on there. Like I said, that it's a bigger picture. But that this was just a, yeah. That so they cropped it and they chopped it up to make this little thumbnail image. But the actual one that they have is is bigger and more detailed. It might have been, might have been long, yeah. It might have been longer, wider. You know, if it's just a a digital thing, it could have been any size or shape. Yeah. Well, the other thing it could, have, it could have been a whole like row of those minis, like the yeah, you know, like on the old um, what the hell, uh, the Battlemasters box that I had like all the minis on the side, whatever, like what they would look like if they were painted or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, where there's just a strip of all the minis that are in the box. I just think that this that is like this is like some next level speculation stuff here. Like they really want to give us a challenge. Like this is a puzzle that you're supposed to figure out, as opposed to well, we want to show off the miniatures, but we'll just give you a tease. Like we'll show you one of them, or we'll show you a blurred version or something. Like this is like if you if you did a reverse image search just for this arm. Like, are there any miniatures out there? Like on Kickstarters or, you know, in uh, other games. You can try to do it. I, I tried. They didn't lead uh, anywhere. Okay. I tried, really. <laughs> but I don't know. I did on the phone, maybe yeah. on the computer. I it's mean, more accurate. It doesn't look like Hero Forge, but I mean, Hero Forge is a very distinctive style. Okay. So let me just address a couple. I have painted many miniature, okay? Other people that do bracers like this are the Cromlech, but I didn't find anything on the uh, Cromlech uh, hmm. list of miniature looking like this. Well, thanks for trying, though. Xerxes is commenting here. Dwarf Ranger, like the idea. Correct me if I'm wrong, or this has been mentioned, but that does look like something that heroes would exit from a Keller's Keep that leads to a jungle, right? I mean, sure, it could be. You can imagine, a, I don't know, Indiana Jones type situation. See, this was like months and months ago when this first appeared, or we heard the title of Jungles of Delthrak, people were speculating, oh, okay, temple, temple in the jungle, you know, vines, plants, swamps, you know, Egyptian themes, swamp monsters, crocodiles, lizard men. Like, it was like people were just throwing out all the stuff that you, I don't know, stereotypically think about with fantasy games. Because what does Hero Quest do? Usually it reinforces those tropes that we've seen before. 
not a hundred percent, but it often does. So it's like, okay, get it. And then you, they show you this picture until he realized it was fake. It's like, okay, well, that's kind of what might come to mind when you hear that. Uh, Xerxes continues. Maybe something to throw out at this time to show something. Fubar says, if that is a dwarf pack is speculated, and I think it hinted at by Hasbro Avalon Hill, and that is a dwarf mini chopped up, the pose looks like they're lifting an axe up one-handed. Like Thor calling down lightning. You can see axe blade bits at the top right corner. Yes, I see the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, but, and I, you know, I like miniatures. I don't, I don't believe that they're going to do dwarf. By the power of Grayskull. Do what do you mm -hmm. think they're going to do? Well, a, a pack, a pack for. Um, uh, since they are not going to do any more solo quest for uh, for a specific character, I think they're going to do solo quest only for uh, any generic character in the next uh, products. Okay, so if they are going to do solo quest, uh, it could be exactly a, a dwarf, but another subclass. Okay, it could be a ranger. Could be anything. Could be a uh, uh, <laughs> because the one we have is like an engineer. Okay, he's uh, taking down traps. So mm -hmm. be. Uh, I was hoping uh, that it'd be uh, anybody fighter. that has a like a toolkit, so it'd be like the rogue or the the dwarf or exactly. some other could be this layer. We don't know that. So could be this layer. I mean, they cannot use the uh, this layer of whatever. That would be uh, nice. Like, uh, Who are those? You, you guys remember but, in uh, was it Warcraft Two? They had the sappers. Bonds are great. Yes, yes. I forget what were they gnomes or what were they? Like that they might have been. They might have been. I was trying to. I'm trying to think too. Could I don't have, remember. Might have been a dwarf too, but I remember the gnomes with the, they had the little flying things. I got a flying machine. Yeah. Well, they the uh, the horde had the had the goblin sappers. And I just remember there was like the good guy version, but they were like these, yeah, they had Scottish accents. <laughs> um, okay, so Xerxes is scratching his head. Uh, or this discussion will be replayed in a room with the creators laughing hysterically and what we th talk about. Yeah, well, it's such a game because I remember doing Rise of the Dread Moon. It was like. Guess what we're going to do? Well, we can't predict what you're going to do because you're making it up as you go along. So the game is just, okay, they're going to give us a full sentence and leave out one word and then have Jason guess that it's moon. It's like, okay, boom, there you go. So I, I, I enjoyed that game, but at the same time, like if they're going to put this stuff on these, these websites, I don't know, It's maybe it's just... A little too obscure. Maybe they went too far with this one. But all Hasbro has to do to debunk this is just come out with some info saying, yeah, um, here's the actual box. I mean, I remember the whole hollow blue we went through with against the Ogre, Hor Ogre Horde. People didn't want to believe that it was that box was real that was on eBay until you know it finally came out. It's like, okay, why? I don't know. I mean, maybe just people don't like to be surprised or they just don't, they want to believe that it's, you know, it's better than that. Like, people don't want to believe the title of the movie is Attack of the Clones. It's like, that sounds stupid. That can't be real. <laughs> like, yep, it's real. <laughs> All right, I looked it up. Dwarven Demolition Squad. Dwarven, okay. So hence yeah. the stereotypical Warhammer Scotsman. Yes, Glasgow feel well, about that. Uh, if you look at the detail of the miniature and uh, you compare it to the photo I send in this group right now, you see so many, many similarities. They are oh, the design okay. of the belt, the design of the pants, the design that what this one is from the portfolio of uh, Dunbar. Max Dunbar is one of the artists uh, for Hero okay. Quest. Okay, we we really want to be because. Okay, in his profile, always uh, say he always say that he love to draw dwarfs. Ah. Doesn't mean that this miniature is going to be a dwarf, but the uh, the details, uh, okay, the bracers, boots, pants, okay, the the the, the part mm -hmm. around the uh, legs, <laughs> it, 
to me, the, the what gives a gives a away is the belt more than anything. Is this uh, design very thick, very rounded? Mm -hmm. But you know, you you will, you see what you want to see sometimes because yeah. uh, uh, it, it's so similar. Yeah, that's true. Every and everybody's kind of trying to evoke a similar style. I mean, that's what Remake Hero Quest has been like. I guess the artwork in the in the companion app was meant to be a similar style to what we saw like in the card art and all that. So it's all just yeah, an attempt to kind of just blend it together into something that looks like it fits. So Fubar says Occam Yeah, I don't know about Akame's razor. It's Sorry to correct you and be a smarty pants, but it's Occam's razor, and it's saying the simplest explanation is usually the correct one. So it adds the fewest unnecessary terms. So it's not like the most likely. The most likely answer is the simplest one, usually, not always. So what's what's the most likely answer? That somebody came up with this just clumsy placeholder artwork, or that they were trying to fool us again, or... They were trying to fool the, fool the world. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I mean, once an image gets out there, it's true that it kind of becomes the stock image. Like, one person takes a picture of the HeroQuest board and the dice are the wrong color and everybody uses it forever. Like, even Hasbro has it still on their site. And, you know, the dice have black pips. They don't in any released version. And yet, there they are. Or the original HeroQuest. You look on the back of the box the first edition and those are metal miniatures that are painted to look like they're plastic because you can see the sculpts are different the board is like has a different design the cards look different everything looks different so it's not at all what you see in the box and yet that's the classic image because that's what they used at the time because that's what they had to make but i think in this case they've got plenty of time to change it to something else or to put a better placeholder so i don't know I don't know what it means. It could be any of those things. It could be an attempt to fool us. It could be an attempt to tease us. It could be a puzzle of some sort. It could be that Pixie Games was just really lazy and did this. Or last minute they had to cobble something together out of real images and just chose to give us that mess that we see. Yeah, I, might, I really don't understand why you add the miniature part. The miniature part is what yeah, ruined it. It's unnecessary. Yeah. In la cuz yeah, cuz I was thinking, well, okay, what if they gave them a template that just said Hero Quest, it had the border and it had the word Jungles of Delthrak or maybe that was blank and they just added that text. And then there were miniatures in front of it. Yeah. Like it was a bigger picture, like the box sitting on a shelf with a bunch of, you know, or like on a piece of stone or something and a bunch of miniatures. But then why yeah, why would you have one on the inside too? And then overlapping mm -hmm. on the outside again. So like his body is behind the border, but then his weapon is in front of it and his arm is in front of it. And in that corner, <laughs> it's very strange. It doesn't wrap around. That's why, that's why it makes me think of like a corral draw or something where you just, or so any thing where they just kept adding another layer with another cell with an invisible background on top of it. And then that border just fell on the wrong layer at some point. And then like they put, so yeah, you know, they layered it and then they put, yeah, when they were put it together or whatever, that hero quest layer that's supposed to be on top isn't. <laughs> that's why I said it looks like they just threw a bunch of extra stuff on there, like they were just trying to give somebody, hey, this is what it's gonna be. You know, we need you to draw something up or you know make yeah. us something. It's like uh, we ran out of time. Just just take a screenshot of it and throw it on the website. Like okay, done. Budgets run out. Um. But imagine if you were just on looking at a store shelf and you picked this up and this is literally what you saw, like exactly like this. You'd be like, what the heck? What is this? Why? I mean, bad designs have existed before. It's, you know, bad covers, weird covers. It, it's just so, so out of the blue and not matching anything that they've done before. But Fubar says, every company makes roughs, mock-ups, and temp art slash items all the way until final publish. Agreed. Never waste time making something that won't get made. I work in publishing and the creative types are incapable of visualizing anything and always use stock or junk. It will pull for any Google search, so I suggest stay excited. 
but don't get too over analytical about it. Well, Fubar, that's what we do, but I hear what you're saying. Xerxes says, or, 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 they're gathering side ideas from discussion on all forums. We'll see. I don't know if what they're originally saying is quarter three, 2024 for this, right? Am I right about that? Did I just dream that? If that's the case, then it's probably already done. It's probably, you know, they have the final artwork already. They're just waiting to show us. Oh, yes. I mean, maybe I don't know how yes. far the production sure. but, but against the Ogre Horde, like, okay, that one, you know, we have it. So the next one is probably already finished. And then the one before that is in still, de still in development. If it's like in cycles of three like that. Like a whole year out. Yeah, I, I was going to say at the very least it's being printed somewhere, or you know. So in five or six months, we'll be seeing the real thing. I mean, maybe before that, because usually there's some leak beforehand, some hint. But I'm surprised they haven't done it. Then again, with uh, and Carmine and Avalon Bill gone, maybe they just basically slashed the budget, whatever small budget they had for promotional stuff. And so we're just going to have to wait for it to happen officially at a convention. That's how you get something cheap like this. <laughs> yeah, so they don't have any money. So they just do this. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like, yeah, it's like you, you have even fewer resources now to do the same thing that you were doing before. Do it faster, more efficient, and you have even less less time and assets to do it. So that's so. Which one of us is the spy? Well, if I worked for them, I probably wouldn't have time to do this. Um, so I'm definitely not the spy. Although that'd be kind of interesting. You'd employ somebody just to be like, okay, I'm just going to play this game every week and talk about it to try to get people interested. But then don't you think I'd be, I'd have like a Patreon, I'd have... I don't know, I'd be spending money to, like, advertise more, like, to get more people to see it. It's like, oh, you really want to have the the illusion that you're this grassroots, like, low-level, like, fan. I mean, there's bigger fans out there than me. I mean, get Always Bored, Never Boring or Ash Quest to do it instead. So, yeah, it's not me. <laughs> My money is on the wolf. The wolf. Hey, Gon's room's here. Your mom on my head. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Yeah, so we we're just talking about jungles of Delthrak and this weird, fake, bizarre, strange image that's still getting used on all these pages. The other thing I was saying is that I know that there's unethical companies out there. We hear it all the time. Big, small, you know, companies cutting corners, doing borderline illegal things. But it's always a risk when a company does that when they risk, you know, falling afoul of the law or pissing off their customer base, it's a big risk. So my thought was, why would a website put up a pre-order of a fake product? Like, let's say that Jungles of Delthrak doesn't exist. It's just a complete, the whole thing is a hoax. It's just a name that someone gave to whatever the next expansion is for HeroQuest. Could be anything. We don't know what it really is. So we'll just call it Jungles of Delthrak. And here's an image, and here's a fake description of what it is. Some dwarves that you got to save from Keller's Keep. Why would... I was say, they do um, project it's... names a lot, too. That yeah, code names. nothing to do. Yeah, but, but yep. if I'm a company that wants to sell pre-orders, like actual pre-orders, not people are going to cancel because they realize it's a hoax and not give me their money, why would I then just go along with it as if it's a big conspiracy? Like, I as a store would just be like, nope, I'm going to wait until I get official information. So my thought is, I'd more, I'd be more ready, ready to believe the idea that Jungles of Delthrak is real. That these stores have been notified. You know, we're Hasbro. There's an expansion coming. Quarter 3, 2024. It's called Jungles of Delthrak. It's about dwarves. And then maybe that's all they know. You know, similar to how we had that store leak, you know, we kind of got a glimpse of how it, how it is with these stores. They get a list, they get, you know, a vague price point, you know, time, time frame, and then they can start talking about it with their customers. But Pixie Games, when they, when they give us the, um, 
let's say the the information of uh, the other org was uh, extremely precise with the with the content of the of the stuff well, when they... when when we didn't add yet uh, a box. Yeah, but didn't they didn't they yeah, basically was... just copy and paste yeah. the description from the original version? I mean, they were talking about chaos and Morkar, weren't they? But yes, but that... I'm talking about the not 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 the story. The story was was sounding AI. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it did kind of sound. I don't know. I didn't check it then. Uh, yeah, if um, if was uh, correct, but I don't think so. Anyway, I'm talking about the content, the content of the box, the yeah. uh, the uh, Basic mean, number of miniature, number of tiles was everything was was checking. Yeah, was uh, correct. The um, tiles and all that. If I remember correctly, yeah. yeah. So I give the information for this it. box completely invented doesn't doesn't make sense, any sense. I think the the, the information of of this yeah uh, would, post would, is correct. It would damage their reputation if they gave fake information out. Exactly, exactly. So I, small, I think at a... least the uh, the content of the box is correct. Not the story, maybe. Maybe it's just a paraphrase of something they, they heard. Yeah, lost in translation. Listen, some, some, yes. Mm -hmm. But the, the content is, for me, is uh, legit. Yeah. I mean, e each one of these stores has like a dozen competitors. Like, I have no loyalty to Big Bad Toy Store. If Big Bad Toy Store pisses me off, guess what? I'm going to Entertainment Earth. Oh, if they suck, guess what? I'm going to Firestorm Games. If they suck, you know, I'm going to Pixie Games or Blue Diamond or Noble Knight. I mean, there's there's so many stores. What's the difference? And, and some of them use the same distributors and some of them use different distributors yeah, and some of the distributors give different information. I'm going to go to Amazon. I was in a store talking to an owner about uh, the Ogre Horde and she looked on a distributor and it wasn't even available. She looked at her second distributor, and they had it listed. So I went and asked about this, and neither one of them had Jungles of Death, De Death Rack listed. So then I asked about Heroescape, and she said she just got all the information on that, and if she ordered, I don't know, like a case or whatever it is, she gets, like, I think 12 uh, additional things that she can hand out with those boxes, or they can do something. But the promotions are less than... She told me that if I wanted to guarantee getting the uh, the Sergeant Drake, that I needed to just go and order pre-order right from them because that guaranteed it because her store could only get like twelve. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. That's the new Heroescape. Yeah, that's the one. Escape. Yeah, so I figured out because I was trying to order from the store, and she's like. I can guarantee I can order you one, and I can guarantee you'll have one. But I can't guarantee that you would have that you would actually get that. And the only way to guarantee that was to pre-order through them. Of course. Well, you know those two stores that were part of the original leak, uh, Isle of Games, and I forget the other one's name. I always forget. But I mean, I I had conversations with both of those store owners. Neither one of them have ever called me back. On the other hand, um. They probably realized I was out of state, so I probably wasn't, you know, I probably wasn't serious that I was going to drive all the way to their state and buy it. They knew I was just going to buy locally. And the one guy even said that. It's like, yeah, yeah just support your local store. You don't have to come all the way here. You know, but I was calling them to, to try to verify what people were saying on Reddit, which they pretty much did. You know, <laughs> they convinced me and turned out to be accurate. So, yeah, I mean, thanks for trying uh, to ask those questions. But, yeah, Jungles of Delthrak. I just don't think they would put this information out if they didn't want us to know it. But then, yeah, right. it raises the question of the image. Why the heck this particular image? So bizarre. I mean, did one store uh, do a another... weird stunt and everybody just copied them just because they didn't have anything better? Yeah, well, and that's the thing is, like, if I go to the store or whatever and I want to pre-order something, a lot of times they know. With the Hasbro stuff, they're like, they don't know. Yeah. You know, and they, they, know, they know the GW schedule. I usually get that stuff the night before it's released because I can go and pick it up because I've already paid. They've already got it for, like, two or three days. You know what I mean? So Hasbro so is just it's like, coasting on their Hasbro's, 
Well, that and they have a lot of distributors, so you're fighting the distributors to get it faster. Yeah. Yeah, and see here, everybody see, another puts, you know, element. Sorry. Oh no! Another no, element. I'm just, I'm just uh, of the box. Yeah. Another element of the box that looks suspicious to me is the side of the box because um, every single box got a different filigree under the logo. Oh, yeah. And this one, they didn't copy a, another filigree. They just put a, a completely new filigree under there. In the side of the box, you see, the entire filigree is new. The, hmm. It's not a copy of uh, any other filigree of the other boxes. So it's not just a Photoshop of another picture. The, they just exactly. And... Um, why put a filigree if you don't know if the box has got a filigree? It, it's weird. Yeah, what if it was just solid black or some other color? Yeah. But why invent a new filigree? Yeah. Just because the other box, the other box said a it's filigree. Like, it's like they told if the you guy, know... we want you to make a clever fake. And then they were like, nah, just kidding. Just turn in whatever you've got right now. And he was like, okay. He's <laughs> not clever. Okay, don't fool anybody, this, uh, this box, okay? <laughs> It's just to, it's just to make us ask questions. But see, we are the super hardcore fans, just like the people who would buy who would buy something sight unseen from a store just because it's Hero Quest, even though they know they're being lied to. They'll be like, "Yeah, I'll just do it," and we will pour over every detail. But the average customer is just going to be like, "What? This looks stupid. <laughs> Why would I want this?" So, I I don't just don't see how it helps them if they did this on purpose. But clearly they uh, did it. Well, unless unless they're going to release the information in the 1st of April. But uh, April. they didn't. April <laughs> Fool, yeah. Well, they kept it up so long. I mean, to, <laughs> to be fair, Pixie Games took it down. So I don't think they have any listing at all for Jungle's Delthrak on their page anymore. They probably got complaints. And that's fine. But now these other pages are lazily just taking the same image that they obviously saved. It's on the web now. And using it instead of just saying, you know, no image available, image coming soon, or stock image. Yeah, uh, is a weird move. Very weird. Yeah, the marketing for Hero Quest is probably the weirdest part of the whole deal. I mean, the biggest stuff that they ever did was okay, getting Joe Manganiello to talk about it and getting a big like broadsword that you can get your picture taken with at Gen Con. I mean, other than that, like we haven't seen a whole lot of like big publicity stuff. Although you did get, what country was it that they had the full size hero quest? Like they had the board that you could walk around on and they had the cardboard standees of the orcs. I mean, that was Spain. Spain. That was, that was cool. <laughs> I mean, that, that would cost some money to do that. Um, but yeah, the, their promotional budget just seems very small, so they're they're reduced to doing these weird viral like stunts and mistakes. <laughs> Xerxes has some more comments here. Low keep spy, someone who stays low key. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, they did give they did give those early products out to influencers. Most of them I'd never heard of them. I mean, that doesn't mean anything, but maybe you've got a few thousand subscribers on YouTube and. You talk about board games, so they send you a little dwarf in the mail and say, hey, talk about this on your stream. Like, okay, generate some interest. Xerxes says, I'm not into marketing, but a thought of this would be they want to see where they have the highest amount of potential pre-orders are for potential. Well, yeah, I think that's the whole point of pre-orders. At least that's what people have told me. It's not to get a product early. It's so that they know how many to order. Like if they... If they put out pre-orders and nobody pre-orders it, that's a bad, really bad sign. Showing just part of a miniature anyway is not unheard of. Even Games Worship do, do this kind of thing oh, the, where they yeah. give uh, just uh, uh, a detail of a miniature as a preview. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> and the people just go wild with the... They uh, do? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So the we're... guests. See, I'm not I'm not part of that world, so I don't necessarily know. So they would just show like an arm or a foot. 
a, or a piece of a weapon. If, if you're lucky, you get the whole arm or the whole foot. Sometimes it's like a half a weapon, and yeah, it, they, they literally just it, they call it like it's it's in the rumors, like it, it's a rumor that they release Can you like every it? week. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you guess the rest of it? And the then episodes? it's like, yeah, they show the re- yeah. they'll show the whole thing later. See, because I would just show, I'd show like a weapon or I'd show a, the head or something. You know, something that you could figure out what the heck it's supposed to be rather than just, oh, here's the edge of a boot. Well, I mean, the, I guess the, tar- the, uh, the real target is make the people talk about it. Sure. Okay. And I suppose... Create rumors. Buzz. Yeah, it, it could backfire too. It could be just like this looks dumb and they're like oh <laughs> well how does this grab you and then show us something even cooler but maybe they slashed the budget or canceled the this the the campaign before they got that far um xerxes says sorry adding in potential high sales and for them to be prepared again a potential geography high sales to low sales Fubar, there was HeroQuest Day last summer on several YouTube and Twitch streams. Yes. By the time we got to last summer, yes, they had influencers. They had all kinds of events. I'm talking like before the HasLab campaign really took off. They had just random like stuff. They sent like little boxes. There was it was the dice and they were like round. They had rounded corners, just like in the original trailer. And they had a, a dwarf. The plastic was a little bendier, and he was fully painted. And they had a tomb that was oversized, and you could take the lid off, and there was like red felt inside. So it was like a dice box, a really tiny one. <laughs> and it was all in a like a little cardboard box that had a miniaturized version of the of the cover art, and it's, it had a little letter from Mentor, uh, you know, like coming attractions kind of thing. So it's like that's what they got. And there was at least three of them that I saw where they talked about it. And it's like, okay, well, that was the way they wanted to promote it. Uh, Lacuna Coil, yeah. Yeah, they were opening for Frozen Horror. Okay, so, okay, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. They hired a band to do it. They didn't sing a song about the Frozen Horror. That would have been awesome. But instead, they just were there promoting it. Uh, yeah, I threw up uh, in chat. It's the for GW, the uh, the rumor engine. And as like I said, it's like little bits and pieces, like the, the tips of weapons and stuff like that. Oh. Vintage 1985 Super Ninja Invisible Warrior. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's like the Kung Fu grip. Like every action figure from the 80s has that it looks like they're about to like, Hey, I'm going to thumb wrestle you because that's a nice pose. Like the masters of the universe figures, you know, so that you can clip the weapon into their hand, whether it's a sword or a gun. Right. And that's what, like I said, what I tried to just do the Google lens on just that oh. bottom left corner. That's what showed up. <laughs> so you're, you're ahead of me here with these images. Let me, uh, let me flip these down. Yeah. So we've turned this into a speculation stream. That's okay. If you guys are enjoying yourselves. Uh, we should play some hero quest today though. Uh huh. Ribby will get in here and we'll be like, yep, we're all done done with the game. It's like what are you what are you talking about? Okay, I'm trying to get these images I'm back. Ready up. to play. All right. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> From eBay. Closest match. Yeah, when I did Google Lens, I had a very similar result anyway. Nothing. Ah, Dread Dwarves. Even oh. as Cosmopolitan Scots view Highlanders as stereotypical Scotsmen with red hair and kilts eating haggis. Yeah, well, as an American, you know, we got the, the good old boys from Texas and so forth as our stereotype of like the whole country, even though it's just uh, one state. Yeah, that's silly. That's funny. Well, and if you're from there, you could probably point out all the ways that that's uh, my cowboy hat doesn't look like that, you know. Okay, so this is what Games Workshop does. That's ridiculous. But at least those are that's detail. You could go, oh, okay. 
That's what it is. But, but yes. they just released one. But, uh, what you say. can understand from a couple of skulls, like they put skulls in every miniature. <laughs> No, it, it's nice. Unless you see here. Okay. The spider oh. head. Right. Well, see, some of them are like, yeah, when you see like the pipes or whatever, you're like, well, at least we know it's from 40K. Like, but sometimes you don't even know if it's yeah. what, is, what it is. Is it 40K? Okay. Is it uh, Age of Sigmar? Or is it uh, Lord of the Rings? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's got skulls. It's not Lord of the Rings. It, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's one of those guy things. A... And you're like, it's a guy in a business suit with a top hat and a monocle, but one of his arms is like a, a battle axe. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's like, okay, fooled ya. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I guess the answer is we know nothing. <laughs> so until they drop some more knowledge on us, we're just left to speculate what things are about and wonder because we don't know any more than that. And it might be a while. I mean, it might be, you know, they would. Well, no. The way it's been going is when there's a convention, the next the next big convention is always their opportunity to show off what they have, whether it's just a box cover, you know, or a title or something. I mean, look at here. Right, and there's, and there's, there's like in. three or four of them coming up before third quarter. Uh, it will fit if they present. Uh, uh, at least present in May, the uh, the expansion, and then maybe in July, um, mm -hmm. Iroquois Day, they will release it. The real name is the Forests of Ledrack. <laughs> yeah, working title. All right, guys. Well, as we segue in, uh, we can get Carl Casey playing again. We've got. Rise of the Dread Moon, Temple of the Moon, Elven Temple of the Moon. So, who do we have tonight? So, Bohemius, are you taking the wizard again? Yes. As usual. Okay. And Jacer, taking the dwarf? I can do dwarf and monk. And if Ribby shows up for the barbarian, he's... I think he's a little late now. I haven't seen him. Yeah, you know that daylight savings time. Yep. Gets everybody. Gets everybody. Gets us all in the end, yep. All right. So it w we left off on my turn. So I was I had all this time to think about how I was going to kill the heroes. Now I realize my plans <laughs> I have to change. 